Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 53 of Let's Play Final Fantasy V Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. If you saw in the last part, I just beat Neo X Death, and now we're going to see the rest of this ending. Apparently our heroes are still in the void. Let's see what happens next. Hope! Bless the Earth! Of course, Krill represents Earth, just as Galif did. And Ferris represents Fire. Courage! Light the fires! And Lena is water, which leaves Bart's as wind. So all the crystal shards are leaving you and are returning back to the sky, or wherever they're going. Devotion! Breathe life into the waters! And now his crystal shards are going up. Sit nice and tight, this ending could take a while. Passion! Spread knowledge on the winds. Meanwhile, at the Pyramid of Moor... Seems all the crystal shards are assembling there and reforming the Earth Crystal. And at Istory Falls... I guess the crystal of water is being reassembled. Because remember, a thousand years ago, before the world was split in two, there was originally four crystals. And when the world split in two, the crystal split in two. There's the fire crystal at the Great Sea Trench. Library of the Ancients has returned. And Bart's hometown has returned. And that would be Tycoon Castle. Ah, the Mughal village is still sucked up. The world! It's being reborn! And the crystals as well! Excuse me. There was still power remaining in the crystal shards. Thank goodness! Lena! Ferris, Krill, it's because you took such good care of the shards. Don't forget yourself, Barts. Poor Grandpa. Now, Wind will return to Tycoon. Correct, my dear. Huh? What's this? Oh, you're so nice to greet us! Everybody! Dad! <coughs> Grandpa! Father! Papa! Kelgar and Zeset! Well, at least somebody acknowledged them. The world still needs you. It's too early for you kids to be meeting us. Well, yeah, it kind of is. Go. Return to your world. The one you saved. Okay. But how? Easy for you to say we're here because we don't want to be here. Dawn Warriors, away! And all five of them are going to the heavens and turning into a Windrake for some reason. <coughs> I'm pretty sure this Windrake is new and is not related to the other two we had in the game. So how is a Windrake going to take us out of the void? Let's not walk, we're so lazy.
Okay, what else is happening? Oh, I suppose that's the wind crystal. Why is that one going to be so slow? I mean, shouldn't wind be fast? Yet Earth was there first. I call stereotype, man. Grandpa! <coughs> Excuse me. No, wait, that was mid-talking. Never mind. A letter's arrived. Sid! Mid! How are you? It's me, Krill. Somehow we made it back. We won't explain how, but let's just say we did. Otherwise, I wouldn't be writing this damn letter. Oh, where did we arrive? In Castle Ball? The other way, it looks like we're home. Feels like that fight was just a bad dream. <laughs> For Neo X death, that is. Aw, oh, where's the sheep I was poking back there? Even the Mughal village is back, yay! Since then, I've traveled all over. Seems like everything's become peaceful, like before. And Crow's being gang raped by a bunch of Moogles. Which Lena seems to find funny. The Chancellor Tycoon seems quite happy. Uh, yeah, he would be considering there's two princesses. One of them still doesn't want to be a princess at all. However, Ferris seems worried about her pirate crew. Aw, how convenient. She had her pirate gear snuck right in her dress. How clever. Everyone in Baal is worried, since they have no heir to the throne. Oh, maybe the Moogle has an idea. I say the Moogle should be king. Maybe I'll be queen. As if. It'd be pretty cool, though. Hee <laughs> hee. Nah, it's much better if the Moogle was king. I'd be dancing all the time. Birds went back to his hometown. He's not giving up traveling, but he said he wants to spend time near his parents before he set out again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'd be having a good time considering they're dead. Oh, what's this? Aw, Coco had babies! Oh, Boko and, Bobo, Boko and Coco had children! Baby chocobos are the cutest! Two of them are Bokos, by the way. Yeah, I struggle at that last line. It's been a year since then! Lena and Ferris are busy with running Tycoon and all, and Bart's off on another journey. Wonder what he's doing. If, if any of the others have to ask about me, no, I'm sure they'll come. Tell them I can't wait to meet again. Krill, you worked so hard. Everyone fought well. Now, if Krill died off during that battle with Neo X death, somebody else would be writing the letter. Except for Ferris, because, well, she's a pirate and can't read or write. In other words, she never becomes the narrator. Okay, we're seeing some flashbacks of our journey. Including when Bart's encountered uh, Kelger's Lupine attack. Right through the door! And that's when Bart has his first crush on Ferris. Before finding out she was a woman. But practically had some ideas. Ugh. Oh God. Maybe I should have waited until after I ate. <coughs> this is Lena just being stupid. Well, this is the only flashback that Lena never fainted in. Good for her.
Now we're seeing some flashbacks of Ferris. Uh, she wanted to go see Sildra one last time. And there's the almighty revelation that she is a woman. And where Krill gets Gallop's power at the Forest of Moor. And that funny squall back in Castle Tycoon. Earth Crystal, where Krill knocks X-Death out of, Ke of Alexander Tycoon. Makes quite an entrance. Yep, apparently there's still more to the ending before the credits. I believe we're heading for the Guardian Tree. The Guardian Tree, of course, is where Galaf died. Oh, that's so cute. If Grandpa had saved me back then. Crystals have been restored, and everything's peaceful, but for some reason, I'm sad. Why does it look like the flowers are growing on her head? Okay, no, never mind. I guess it's just that... Since Grandpa died, I've been all alone. Aww. She's just a sad little girl. And I don't understand how she's having flashbacks of this. She wasn't even there. Unless she was spying. And there was the clash of Big Bridge. And back at the Guardian Tree where Gallop tried to fight X-Death by himself. Probably the part where he turns Super Saiyan. And the part where he kicked the bucket. See ya, Grandpa! What are you talking about? You're not alone. Ah, oh, those sneaky devils, they were on the tree. We're here with you. Buck up, kiddo. Everyone, you made it! As if there was any doubt, like I forget about a friend after we were together for so long. Ah, Bart's just want payback for Tycoon Castle. Everyone, you... What my eyebrow for no reason. Tears don't really suit you, Krill. You have to be strong. Kill is laughing at your blubbering, kiddo. Ah, oh, some birds just shat pixie dust. So seagull fecal matter creates flowers. Wow. He is laughing. The crystals ever green gained their power. This time it's up to us to protect them. Like Dad and the others did. Say, do you hear that? Aye, that I do. Grandpa's voice? No, just the wind through the trees. The rippling of the water? Just the crackling of flames? Must be another forest fire. The settling of the earth! Don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but... 
I can hear it! Yes! Something warm! Let's go! Okay, where are we going? Get some Arby's or something? Okay, fine! Burger King it is! Why does Krill get the Windrake? We get two of Boko's kids and the other one is Guido's. And that's it! That's Final Fantasy V Advance for the Game Boy Advance. Well, technically that's not it. There's still an extra dungeon that I can do now called the Seal Dungeon. It's a lot of rooms, a lot of tough enemies, and very, very tough bosses. I'll likely be doing that next, seeing how it's now available. So anyways, we're just gonna sit back, watch the ending, and start the post-game stuff. Sit back and watch. They're like ants! They are ants! These chocobos are not letting up. They really want their BK, huh? You know, the end credits make it look like this entire world doesn't have a single town. That's pretty sad. You'd think they'd code that in. I mean, most of the rivers kind of look like anorexic dragon airs. With a little turd hanging on the back. I mean, look at it very carefully. It's got this big, large-ass head, shaped like a spear. And there you go. It's a gimp dragonair.
Oh, looks like we're getting stats for all my finishing characters. Nice sprite enlargement. So Krill is level 43, not too bad, and these are all the abilities she's learned. Yeah, it's a very long list, don't you think? Like, look at that list! Isn't that awesome? Of course, that's not every single ability. But that's still a lot! She learned like 99 abilities. And probably 90% of them haven't been used once by anyone! Alright, now we see Ferris. She's also level 43. Not bad amount of stats. At least I didn't take out that final boss overleveled. I mean, I don't consider it overleveled. It's 43. It's below 50. I consider that pretty good. 105 abilities. She's well trained. Now we're gonna see Lena. It kinda looks like she got some top boobs showing. She was also level 43. I'm guessing every character is level 43. She also learned 103 abilities. That was a bit of a love tap, Barts. Once again, level 43! Now look at all these abilities he learned. Only 101 abilities, though. That's still pretty good. Doesn't that look like an all-star team of awesomeness right there? RPG wise. The end. Or is it? You gotta admit, they went really over the top for this ending. Sure finish strong. Okay, a new passage is open beneath the waves. That's that extra dungeon. Um, uh, I'll put it over here. File 2. Okay, I'll meet you at that extra dungeon where the real shit hits the fan. See ya.